Uh, Myanmar's military chief has arrived in Russia. Min Ong Lang is in Moscow for a security conference just days after the UN called for the country to be denied weapons. The general is there at the invitation of Russia's defence minister. The army chief has only travelled abroad one other time since the coup to Indonesia to meet with ASEAN leaders. Russia is a close ally and major arms supplier to the Myanmar military. Daria Bondichak joins us uh, from Moscow. Now, Daria, uh, what is the military chief's main agenda in Moscow? Well, he is here to attend uh, the Moscow International uh, Security Conference. Um, it is an annual event organized by the Defense Ministry, and usually we see top government officials, including the Defense Minister and Foreign Minister, attending this conference, as well as representatives from uh, many countries in Asia, including Myanmar, uh, from Africa, from Latin America, and Middle East. Um, uh, experts and uh, government representatives usually exchange their views on issues of global st uh, stability, global security, and sort of the challenges that um, uh, various countries face uh, in their regional affairs and the global um, strategic stability issues as well. Um, we uh, know that this conference lasts for three days, and we know that uh, Russian Defense Minister and uh, Foreign Minister will speak there. There is so far no indication that uh, General Min Ang Hlein might meet uh, the Russian President Vladimir Putin. We do know that uh, this visit will last at least for three days. Uh, this is um, the, how long the conference is uh, going on for. But there is no timeline sort of set as, as far as we've seen media reports for the General's uh, visit in Russia. Uh, still, you have to ask, what message is Russia trying to send by hosting Myanmar's military leader right on the heels of that UN resolution? Well, Russia seems uh, to be sort of acting in line with its uh, general uh, principle of a multipolar world has been advocating for years and in line with the principle of non-interference in other countries' uh, internal affairs. Uh, back after the February events in Myanmar, Russia has uh, called uh, the overtake um, of power by the military um, a purely domestic affair of a sovereign state. Uh, while Russia has voiced concerns over the rising number of victims during the clashes uh, between the military and the anti um, uh, military protesters uh, back in spring this year, uh, Russia at the same time said uh, that while the world was uh, mounting pressure on Myanmar, uh, the military authorities there, Russia said that uh, this, uh, these actions and, and sanctions against Myanmar could be potentially dangerous and could push the country towards a civil war. Uh, Russia has uh, said that um, the language of uh, threats and pressure is futile and, and very dangerous. Uh, Russia generally considers Myanmar a uh, reliable partner and reliable ally and strategic partner in Asia. Um, and um, it has, um, back in March, uh, voiced its intent to strengthen its ties with Myanmar, including in the military technical cooperation. Russia for decades has been supplying a wide range of uh, military equipment to Myanmar and training um, military personnel here in various academies in line with its course towards technical military cooperation with Myanmar. Um, just uh, days before the coup, Russian defense minister uh, visited um, uh, Myanmar, as you know, uh, and, uh, day, and several weeks after, a month later, basically, Russian um, deputy defense minister also visited a parade uh, hosted in Myanmar. And Russia has back then signed a deal to supply Panzer S-1 air defense systems, as well as uh, surveillance drones and uh, radar equipment. So this is in generally in line with uh, Russia's uh, recent practice. And, and some uh, political um, and military analysts uh, see in Russia maybe using using this opportunity to strengthen its ties with Myanmar to better position itself in the Indo-Pacific region and possibly uh, strengthen its influence there despite uh, its uh, uh, denying such ambitions in recent years. Daria Bondarchuk in uh, Moscow. Thank you.